And Todd, last night we told you that the investigators here at the sheriff's office were very concerned because they'd only gotten very few calls about this case from the public, so they made a plea for more help. Well, the public came through, and then by this afternoon they had their suspect, and only we were there when that suspect was brought to jail. Hey, why'd you burn the boss? Why'd you burn it? Only WPBF 25 News was there as Joseph Schreiber was led into the St. Lucie County Jail Wednesday night, declining a chance to defend himself. Investigators say Schreiber is responsible for this. Sunday night, arson at the Islamic Center of Fort Pierce. Security video from the center shows a man running away just as the fire starts. Investigators say that man is Joseph Schreiber. We made a plea for the community to help in this investigation. The community stepped forward and provided that. Provided that with tips identifying Schreiber specifically. The sheriff's office says they also got additional surveillance video from businesses and homes near the mosque. There's a relief. There's a sense of relief. The Islamic community had said they felt terrorized knowing the arsonist was still on the loose. Wednesday night, they allowed our camera inside to see just how extensive the damage is to the mosque. We feel a little safer. But we were alert, right? Alert on, on uh, any copycats or any people who feel empowered. Being in jail is not something new for Joseph Shriver. The sheriff's office says he has multiple convictions, including robbery with a firearm. As for a motive for this crime, investigators say take a look at Shriver's social media. His thoughts on Muslims are clear. Posts saying all Muslims are terrorists and only a demented fool believes Islam is not the problem. That corroborates our fear that in fact this does have to do with uh, hate to the Islamic community. And the FBI is also involved in this investigation. They say Joseph Schreiber may be facing federal charges. In the end, he could face up to life in prison.